This is the first casualty of that oil sand stampede. Hundreds of thousands of hectares of northern boreal forest already being stripped and drained to make way for open pit mines. I don't think most people realize we're talking about uh, an intact forest that has never been disturbed uh, before, uh, still with its full complement of wildlife species, woodland caribou, black bears, and, uh, and wolves, and a real mixture of uh, um, spruce and aspen and then wetland, uh, wetland areas. So, I mean, naturally significant forest lands we're talking about here, and that often gets lost in the, in the discussion. The forests are just the first natural resource consumed in the pursuit of crude, Oil Sands companies are also licensed to draw almost 350 million cubic meters of water from the Athabasca River each year, twice the amount of water used by the whole city of Calgary. Then there's the natural gas. All that water gets heated before it's mixed with the tarry sand to extract the oil, and to do that, companies burn enough natural gas each day to heat 3 million Canadian homes. Still, as voracious a consumer of natural resources as this industry is, it is what the oil sands contribute to the environment that worries critics even more. The oil sands in 2007 produced about uh, 40 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions, which is the same as uh, about uh, 10 million cars in Canada. So it's a, it, it, it's a huge impact. And uh, oil sands are likely to be responsible for almost half of Canada's greenhouse gas uh, pollution increases in the coming, uh, coming years, which as we're seeking to reduce uh, emissions, we're obviously taking this in the wrong direction.